Is the Moza SRP Lite Brake Pedal Performance Kit worth the money? Well, if you ask me, which by clicking on this video you essentially did, it's only just about kind of worth it. It's a little bit expensive for what it is. It makes the brake pedal a lot stiffer, but also goes a bit too far in that regard. It does unlock more of the ability to really use the brake pedal curve setting in the Moza software, all of which combines to make it easier to use the R5's bundle brake successfully for serious sim racing, but I still wouldn't call it a great pedal feel, just improved. Thanks to Moza for sending me the SRP Lite Performance Kit. Remember to check my video descriptions for all sorts of links and discounts, most of which directly help this channel if used. So thanks to all my supporters for doing exactly that. It's much appreciated. The SRP Lite pedals came with the Moza R5 bundle. They're not available separately, so this only applies to you if you are buying or have bought the R5 boxed bundle, complete with the R5 base, ES wheel, and of course the SRP Lite pedals. When you buy an R5 bundle these days, you might have the option to add the SRP Lite brake pedal performance kit to your basket, or cart for my American friends. Tempting for sure, at around £25 or equivalent in your currency, it's just about cheap enough to not think too hard about it. As standard, the SRP Lite brake pedal doesn't have much resistance or progression, it's basic, and it is quite difficult to be precise with it. That's neither a surprise nor a big deal if you play your racing games with braking assists, and they're no different really from Fanatec's CSL pedals in that regard, they are just starter pedals to get you by. However, some of you might want to set foot into the more serious games and simulators where the brake pedal starts to matter more, and that's when you might look at this upgrade and give it some thought. The kit is made up of a handful of bits, a spring, a rubber bushing, a threaded sleeve, a top and bottom end, a pair of plastic collars and a couple of small screws. These all go together like some kind of metal barbecue skewer and is installed, you guessed it, on the brake pedal. Installation is super duper easy and took me only a minute or two and it can be done without taking your SRP lights off of your cockpit or stand. After installation, the immediate difference is that the brake pedal is now much stiffer. It now takes quite a bit of force to actually engage the brake pedal. In my eyes, a little bit too much. Straight away because of this, I'm going to make the point, if you don't have anything to bolt your pedals onto, don't get this kit, as it will render them pretty much unusable. It's really for when you have something to hold them in place, so do bear that in mind. Because the brake pedal now fights back and resists your braking foot, you can start to build up a bit of muscle memory and more reliably hit the target braking force you need after some practice. This is the same concept behind when I used to put additional braking rubber into my Logitech pedals back in the day. It's all about the pedals resisting progressively when pushed, so that your leg muscles can remember how hard you had to push to brake just the right amount. As standard, the SRP light brake pedal is too weak and springy to really form that feeling. This mod aims to change that by making the pedal stiffer. However, Improved as it may be, it's still not great, and the reason for that is just the overall stiffness. It does take a bit too much force to make the pedal move now, and that can make it difficult to modulate the pedal in the mid to lower half of the pedal range. Bit silly really, because the kit successfully makes hard braking easier to accurately judge, but then makes the more subtle and soft braking movements harder to do. My point is that the kit transforms the pedal feel, but not all of that transformation goes into making the SRP lights better. I also found it benefited from a little bit of grease to make the pedal smoother throughout its travel as I found it a tiny bit sticky when trying to modulate it slowly, but even after greasing it's not terribly smooth. This kit does seem to get positive feedback from other customers, but some have commented that they found the supplied string a bit too strong, which I agree with, and they swapped it out with a softer rated spring. If Moza supplied an optional softer spring in the kit so that you can choose between the spring rates then this would be really welcome and it would better justify the cost. Look, it's a 25 quid upgrade kit for entry level bundled pedals. It's not expected to do anything amazing or be very sophisticated, it's just a way for people to stiffen up that brake pedal on the SRP Lite if they find the stock pedal too easy going. And if you treat it that way then you'll get exactly what you expect. And that's it for now. Hope this has been informative, but feel free to ask questions or leave comments. I'll do my best to answer. Cheers again.